This video is a collection of reports that, on their own, don't warrant their own video. 25-year-old Jack Mallinson, a trainee solicitor and special police constable with West Yorkshire Police, is due to be sentenced at Leeds Crown Court on March the 30th after he pleaded guilty to posting online messages, fantasising about abusing children and possessing thousands of child sexual abuse images. Mallinson was arrested in January 2021 by the National Crime Agency after he was identified by investigators as using the encrypted messaging app Wicker under the username Winters100 to send the posts, clearly not as encrypted as he thought. Mallinson was found in possession of 3,710 indecent images of children on his mobile phone in categories A to C, with 14 extreme pornographic bestiality images on his gaming laptop and was charged with five counts of making and possessing indecent images of children and one count of publishing obscene posts. Mallinson faces Leeds Crown Court on March the 30th. I've already asked Marty Blackborough to attend to try and get a photo of this guy and find out exactly what happens in court. I will report that as soon as I get the info. On the 17th of March, Northumbria PC 2891 Helen Kane will be facing a misconduct hearing. Kane was found to be more than three times over the drink drive limit whilst at work, whilst driving a police vehicle. 37-year-old Kane was arrested on November the 3rd, 2021 and gave a reading of 117 micrograms of alcohol in 100 millilitres of breath. On November 17th last year, she pleaded guilty to driving whilst over the legal alcohol limit, but denied an additional charge of holding of public office whilst willfully neglect, neglecting to perform duties or willfully misconducting duties. The information I have found suggests she will stand trial on May the 5th this year, but the force have it appears fast-tracked to the misconduct hearing. The hearing will determine whether the alleged conduct, which is listed as, on the 17th of November, the officer was convicted at Teesside's Magistrate Court for driving a motor vehicle whilst after, over the prescribed limit of alcohol, contrary to Section 5 of the Road Traffic Act. The officer's conduct and re resultant convictions set out above breach the standards of professional behaviour contained in said Schedule 2 of the Police Conduct Regulations 2020, in particular discreditable conduct, duties and responsibilities, fitness for duty, and amounts to gross misconduct, if it's found proven. Metropolitan Police PCSO Mohammed Zaman, who was attached to the Met's West Area Borough Command Unit, was convicted last Friday at Willisden Magistrates Court of witness intimidation. The court heard how Zaman was off duty when he approached a woman on March 24, 2021, who at the time was victim in a harassment case. He spoke to her and used words that intimidated her, saying that he and his friends knew where she lived. He was reported to the police and was arrested the following day. On April 15th last year, he was charged and suspended from duty. Chief Superintendent Sean Wilson, in charge of policing in the area Zaman worked, said this is an extremely serious offence and one which undermines the trust and confidence people have in our organisation. There is no room for blah 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 word salad blah 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 word salad. The Met said that now criminal proceedings are over, a misconduct hearing will take place as soon as possible. Zaman will be sentenced on April the 8th. On Saturday the 11th of July 2020, three motorcyclists, all off-duty Sussex police officers, collided with a red Ford Fiesta being driven by an 80-year-old man and a female passenger near Chichester. PC James Latter and PC Alan Harris, based at Lewis, based at Lewis and PC Ahmet Yappi, 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 PC Yappi, based at Gatwick, were charged and summoned to Worthing Magistrates Court on the 19th of February last year for dangerous driving. It would appear from the information that they have pleaded not guilty at the time, as I can't find information stating whether they did or not in the time that I've got for each of these stories. But as they've now appeared in Crown Court, it would suggest that they did plead not guilty in the magistrates. However, appearing at Portsmouth Crown Court this week, Latter, Harris and Yappy pleaded guilty to a charge of dangerous driving each, with Yappy and Harris also admitting to driving at speeds exceeding 60 miles an hour. The three cretinous cops who clearly believe the law doesn't apply to them were not sentenced this week and instead will be sentenced on the 8th of April. Chief Superintendent Jerry Westerman said the reckless actions of these three individuals has caused harm to both themselves and others. 
They have rightly been held to account for their behaviour and we will continue to take action against all those that break the law and endanger the lives of others. These officers have failed to maintain the high standards Sussex Police expects of all its officers on and off duty and an internal misconduct investigation will now be completed. Warwickshire Police Constable, 53-year-old PC Pervinder Mann, an absolutely fitting name. In fact, I reckon it's right up there with firefighter Les McBurney, Andrew Drinkwater from the Water Research Centre and Dr Doctor. Pervinda is due to appear in Coventry Magistrates Court today, the 11th of March, following an IOPC investigation into misconduct in public office and perverting the course of justice. Following a referral from Warwickshire Police in July 2020, the IOPC conducted an investigation into the officer's alleged inappropriate contact with a domestic abuse victim during the course of his duties. PC Perv, in demand, has been inappropriate with a vulnerable victim of domestic abuse. The IOPC investigation concluded in March 2021 when the IOPC shared their report with the CPS who decided to authorise the charges of misconduct in public office and pervinder the course of I mean, perverting the course of justice. There is very, very little information regarding this incident as yet, but I will be sure to bring you updates as they are released after his appearance in court today. However, PC Pervinder Man is currently suspended, and I would assume he's been since the IOP investigation was completed back in March 2021, meaning he's been on full pay for a year. 42-year-old married 4th Valley PC Scott Noble hasn't been living up to his name as it seems he may have been anything but Noble with a member of the public, who was not his wife. Allegedly, and it is allegedly at the moment as it's being investigated, Allegedly, Mr Noble here was on a night out with colleagues over a colleague's retirement when an offence may have been committed in which he is accused of sexually assaulting a woman. Noble is said to be a 20-year veteran of the police service before the complaint was lodged, at which point he was taken off the front line and put on desk duties whilst the matter is investigated. There will obviously be two investigations, one criminal investigation and one professional standards investigation. A Police Scotland spokesperson said a complaint has been received and an investigation by professional standards is underway to establish the full circumstances. Unfortunately, we're going to have to wait for more information on that particular subject. Staffordshire Police Detective Constable Gareth Morris has been handed his P45 after he pleaded guilty at Cannock Magistrates Court last month to drink driving and his recent misconduct hearing found him guilty of discreditable conduct. 42-year-old Morris was banned from driving for 13 months and fined £507 at the Central and South West Magistrates Court sitting at Cannock Magistrates. Deputy Chief Constable Emma Barnett said, We demand and expect high standards from our police officers at all times. They must be held to account for their actions in order to maintain the public's trust. In word salad, word salad, blah, blah, word salad. It is clear that this officer has fallen below the standards expected and the circumstances warranted dismissal without notice. Big thank you to channel supporters, especially these guys. Your support is truly appreciated. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts as I know many of you will. And until next time, stay safe, look after each other, film the police and other officials.